So, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was. My video cut off for me, you know, so I was just applying my um, BH Cosmetics Foundation. So, um, basically, I'm going to reenact the last steps because the recording kind of went out on me. But yeah, I was applying the M5 Golden Beige and BH Cosmetics. And this is what the cover looks like right here. Okay. So um, once again, you know, I'm just going to put just a little teeny pump so I can go down here. Bring a little down. So I'm doing like, you know, windshield wiper motions and circular motions all over my face, basically painting it on. And um, I'm using my Sephora um, Professional um, Foundation Brush. And where is my... Oops. <laughs> so sorry. I know that was not right. I truly, truly apologize, you guys. <laughs> Something always going wrong in my videos. But, um, yeah, so I need, I need to look in the mirror. Yeah, so what I was saying was that you know I like the dewy look that it's giving me right now so I don't think that I'm going to put on actually I'm not going to put on any pressed powder or anything to set this foundation because I don't want to look too you know cakey or anything because it's giving me a really dewy look alone so I don't know how it's going to last me throughout the day but this is what I'm going to experiment on today. The last time that I put the um, foundation on, which was the first time I put it on was last week, and that was to just sample it out and figure out which was my color before I come and do a video. Um, and so I found two colors that kind of, you know, that I like a lot. So this is the one I'm using today. All right, so I think I blended that out enough. What I'm going to do now is take a brush which I always use my elf um powder brush but it's the flat head one like that I always use this brush to buff okay and that kind of helps me get off any excess foundation that I may have and don't need on my skin you know it's just my preference you know my preference so this is how I do it. And I just like to go in circular motions and blend it all in, basically. You know? Okay. That's it. I want to go for like a neutral look today, not a heavy look. I'm putting on a very light sound, um, eyeshadow look, something very simple, okay? So, yeah. So, I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetic Palette for my eyeshadow as well. Um, let me just this up so. I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow for my look. Okay? So, stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys. So, I've already applied my, um, eyeshadow primer and my eyeshadow base on my eyelids. I have one as a primer, um, Elf's Eyelid Primer and Sheer. And I also have on Ruthless Cosmetics um, Eye Fix Base. Okay. And I blended that out really, really well. So it's really matte right now. Okay. It's dry. Um, what I'm going to do is, I need my compact to look in. So right now I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics. Um, <laughs> this thing is so small. I'm so disappointed, you guys. I thought it was bigger than this, but unfortunately it's not. So this is the compact little, you know, portable size brush set. You get four brushes. Um, you get a blending brush. You get eyeshadow brush. Um, I guess this is maybe, I don't know, grease brush or something. I don't know what this is. Some, I don't know. 
and this is another eyeshadow brush right here and this looks like you know you can use this as I don't know what to apply. I don't even know the, the names of the brushes, but I do know, you know, I'll find some use for them. Just put it like that. But you get one, two, three, four brushes, and it's a dual-ended brushes, so you get eight sides, okay, basically. And then I'm going to be using my BH Party Girl palette, okay? And let's see. See if I can find some colors that go with what I'm wearing today. So, something sheer. I just want some light colors. Um, I'm going to use my press powder as a transition color right here in my face. I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to put some of that color. Okay, this is um, cashmere from um, Rockin' Republic. So I'm just going to put that in my crease because I don't want a dark um, transitioning color in my lid, on my lid, or in my crease at all. And being that the colors are um, kind of shimmery, most of the colors. And most definitely the color that I may be applying may be shimmery. So I don't feel like having a bunch of shimmery stuff all over my eyes today. I just rather the crease be matte. So I'm going to blend that up a little bit to the brow bone. And I'm bad, you guys. I didn't even wash this brush yet. So, okay. So that's pretty good. Okay, that's the care of transitioning color. Kind of looking lopsided here. All right, so I'm going to choose one of these um colors right here from the BH Cosmetics palette. This shimmery color right here. which looks like a pinkish color a little bit. That's what it looks like. But in the palette, it doesn't even look as pink, but on the brush, my, woo, it looks really, really bright. I'm going to mix that a little bit because I think I wanted that pink. That's really bright. Okay. So I'm just patting it on and patting motion. I want to put that all across my leg. Looking washed out here. The color is pretty though. Okay, so I'm just going to take my blending brush and just blend out any harsh lines. So blend, blend, blend. That's 
over here. Okay. And then I'm going to take the other side of this, um, another one of the brushes, but it's a bigger side, uh, the bigger eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to use that just because I want to put eyebrow um, color right here. So I'm going to use this, um, I don't want to put white, it's like this little shimmery color right here. I'm just going to put that, ooh, <laughs> no um, mirror. I need to put that on my eyebrow bone just a little bit, you know. And just blend that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go back with my blending brush in between my transitioning color and brow, brow bone color. And so, let me try to show you what that looks like. And um, so I'm done with this, and now I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner gel um, this eyeliner gel is from eBay and this is what I was trying to show you about it being very creamy so it's really really creamy and it's a lot on here so I need to get some of it off because I don't want this I want to do a little light um, line you know I don't want a heavy line I'm sorry if I'm looking kind of lopsided. I think it's because my laptop is on my bed and it's really not leveled. Yeah, I'll adjust that. So, I'm going to come back with the finished look because this is kind of taking too long. And I may not be able to edit the video, you know. So, I don't want it to be like extremely, extremely longer than 15, 16 minutes. So, I'm going to come back with the eyeliner on and my eyelashes, okay?